right, so what we are gonna look at is, what does it cost to get into Fox Chapel? So we're gonna go on the MLS here and look at active listings in Fox Chapel. That's the only two filters I'm putting on. I don't care what type of property it is. I don't care what the price point is. So we're gonna see everything from zero to 400 million. All right, ready to take a look? Let's go. All right, so I got a line item. There are only 29 properties for sale currently in Fox Chapel as of 11.27, the day after Christmas, right around 3 p.m. I have them organized by their lowest price to their highest price. So the highest one active is 2.750 and the lowest price it's four hundred sixty five thousand dollars that's a lot of money all right so let's start at the top I've actually been inside this house beautiful house 9,000 square feet nine acres seven bedrooms seven bathrooms two partials 2750 that is a lot of house and some very good acreage in Fox Chapel so let's just look through the photos beautiful landscape in the front you can see from the drone, good job with the listing agent to get this drone photo up there. It's hard to tell the topographics, but that is actually a hillside with uh, some beautiful mulch and shrubbery, etc. I'm guessing this is probably theirs, which is really smart to keep like lawn equipment and stuff away from the house. Uh, trees providing a natural tree fence. Pre-COVID, a pool was a problem in Pittsburgh, uh, which is a seasonal market. Post-COVID, it's a bonus, man. It is a big deal. So this one has a magnificent pool area. Um, we'll take a look at it in some of the more, in the more upcoming photos. Beautiful, lots of ground super private like look at the driveway to get to the main road hopefully that's a benefit to potential or the owner and the potential buyer privacy a home like this is all about privacy beautiful entry beautiful tile a little interesting to have in uh, pittsburgh a seasonal market we don't usually have all tile floors i go to florida a lot and that's very very popular in florida but nonetheless still stunning stunning cabinetry wood beams wood pillars very classy in stature this kind of really sets it off here. Gathering room of this epic proportion, open to the kitchen, custom ceilings, coffered uh, ceilings, just windows everywhere, natural light, awesome fireplace with herringbone brick pattern inside. Details are phenomenal. Amazing kitchen. This is going to be your freezer. Good size kitchen, what you would expect. Owner suite, now you always expect something custom from the owner suite and, and something you're not gonna find in a cookie cutter track built home. And this is what I would say is unique. I mean, you can make a bigger closet. You can make an office in the owner suite, but this is super unique. Look at all the windows. Beautiful white custom, that's exotic carpet, a custom carpet, but it walks out onto the deck. They have it set up as a sitting area, which is really cool. Maybe another home office in COVID times would be a great idea. There it is there. So you come in from the hallway there. This is all first floor as well. Stunning owner suite, beautiful wood. Oh, bedrooms, bedrooms are nice. Skylights, custom um, window as well. And this is what you expect for a multi-million dollar home. So it's, it's hitting it, it's nailing it. This is a lower level bedroom, as it says, in, in a private area. So mother-in-law suite, au pairs are really big, becoming bigger in Pittsburgh. There's your hangout area, man cave, so to speak. There's your wine cellar. Oh, there it is, man. Post COVID, money shot. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, that's, this is what you expect for a multi-million dollar home. Beautiful place. This one's kind of unique. This is for two six. This looks like some original house right there, uh, the way they built that, unless somebody did retro build it to look like it was um, built that way. Very nice. It's like a removable island with um, maybe marble top. I love when ceilings aren't drywall. I mean, give me covert ceilings, give me hardwood ceilings, give me wood ceilings painted white. Even if you just want luxury, 500,000, stop at the drywall. Oh, this is a nice sink area. Great photos, great setup, great staging, very cool. This is 2.6 million in Pittsburgh, which the average price point of a home in Fox Chapel is around 680,000. The average price point in Pittsburgh is around 180,000. So if it's around 180,000 in the greater Pittsburgh area and you're listening for two, your, your house is worth 2.6, you expect a lot and you're getting a lot so with the 2.6 house and the 2.7 house we just looked at. Stunning, right? This, this is similar to the living area of the previous house. The other house was way more exotic with all the windows and high ceilings, covert ceilings. Super cool. This looks like more of a farmhouse renovated, but this is what you get for two six. Nice yard. Again, with the previous house, you have uh, nine acres, so you have a good yard there as well. Beautiful. Stables, maybe? Previous stables, something like that. Pretty cool. So that's what you get for two six. Let's look at a couple more of these multi-million dollar ones, and then we'll zip our way down in different price ranges. This is two three. It's a six bedroom, seven bath, 13,000 square feet. So 15 acres. So more acreage and more square footage than our previous two homes. Wait, let me double check that. Yeah, than our previous two homes, but it's a lower price point. So 
nice courtyard receiving area very cool um so this here is a perfect example it's not uncommon when these people built these houses for the decor to be outdated so someone will probably get this at a pretty good deal because this is gonna have like a ton of old wallpaper and a ton of old light fixtures and the custom flooring is amazing look at that that's all custom you're not gonna find that in home depot or lowe's like sh peel and stick so this house probably needs a little bit of a facelift to get sold. I mean, I kind of like the cabinets. What are your thoughts? Why don't you comment below right now? Hit the pause button on the video. Comment below. What do you think about this house? Too outdated, slightly outdated, not outdated at all. What would you do? Okay, moving on. Good sized kitchen. It's nice. I mean, you'd be surprised what a fresh coat of paint does, man. You paint this, it may look like a whole nother house. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Very nice. I think this is virtually staged, which is a really good idea. Very nice. Office. Very cool. That is a big office. Bedrooms. See outdated color in the carpet, outdated. If these people just put in maybe, I don't know, 50,000 and got it repainted in a carpet, it'd probably be looking a lot better. But this is what's listed for 2-3 in Fox Chapel. Movie theater, lower level game room, and a wine cellar or mini wine cellar. Cool architecture. Oh man, love that. How would you like to welcome your guests to that? 2.3 million, there it is, a pool. Very nice. Well, let's go and look at a different price point. Let's get out of the million dollar range. So what can you get some for somewhere in the $900,000 price point? Under a million, over 800,000. You only have two options. 925,000 gets you a four bedroom, five full bath, two partials, a little over one acre. You see the acreage goes down and the square footage goes down, 4,000 square foot. This is a normal sized home when you get down to 4,000 square feet, right? 1995, interesting, okay. Private, and you can see the difference, right? Between what we were just looking at, look how condensed this looks. That's nice. Nice island. I think red is a color that's supposed to make you hungry. You can Google it. I've seen red before on a bunch of dining rooms. Very nice, there's that special room. Wow, supreme office, wood everywhere. Even if you don't like wood, you just kind of have to respect it. You can paint it white if you wanted. Fireplace, which I always thought was cool. And I'll look at the multi-leveled crown molding and trim, right? And there's some LED lights in there. Just lighting, up lighting in general. Owner's ensuite, it looks like. So this is what you get for 925, I think. Finished basement. Most all these houses have finished basements in these price points. A lot of brick. Three car garage expected. Maybe a little light on the yard. Yeah, 925,000. All right, let's pick a house in the $800,000 price range. So it looks like we have 850 to 875. Let's just pick this 875. Why not? Let's get the top, top of the price point. Wow, a lot of difference in the price points, huh? From 2 million down to a 3,000 square foot house, one acre. 875, it's a four, three, and a one. Let's take a look at it. What do you think? So it's just so interesting after you look at those expensive ones, what you get for this different price point under 900,000. Everything gets smaller. You may get like one little specialty, I like to call it, which would be like covered ceilings or maybe fireplaces in your bedrooms, just something that costs more money to build. Like a lower ceiling, smaller room all the way around. Still nice though. Owner suite, let's say I'm like on the first floor. You know, the owner suite's lost all its pop when you move down the price points. Wow. Keep in mind, these are all active. None of these are sold either. So they may sell for a little bit less than what they're listed for or substantially less. Okay, I'm kind of done with that. $700,000 price point. I think we're just going to keep getting more disappointed. Only one. $785,000. This is what you get. Four bedroom, three bath, one partial. Wow, yeah, kind of dated, huh? Potential. Oh, yeah, really dated. Bad. Wow, the size. I mean, this is 700,000. That's no small amount of coin. And this kitchen looks like it might need completely renovated. Some strong paint colors. Paint is easy fix though. Again, not uncommon to start having some of these problems where the kitchen and the bathrooms need completely updated. Of course, that's purely subjective. That might just be my opinion, not yours, but it costs a lot of money to do that. So the bigger the house, the bigger the renovation costs. All right, working our way down. Only two in the $600,000 price point. I'm gonna stay at the top end of that. Berkshire Drive, 685. Now here's something of interest, $19,000 in taxes annually. Gulp, right? That's not bad, huh? Kitchen needs redone. Bathroom needs updated too, it's craziness. Gotta put in a little bit of money in your house if you want it sold, that's for sure. I don't know if there's a pool there that maybe they covered over. 
Interesting. And that's what you get for 685. Roll them down in the half million dollar price point. Let's stay at the top end, 575. 43 and a one, 3,800 square feet, one acre. Again, everything does start to shrink, which makes sense. Yeah. Good yard space, kind of, kind of plain, I would say. It definitely needs updated basic fridge, cabinets, appliances. But again, you get in a good school district too, Fox Chapel, still three, over 3,000 square feet of house. That's what you get for 575, almost 4,000 square feet. And our next and lowest price point is gonna be in the 400s. Uh, let's just, let's go to 465. This is the lowest price house in Fox Chapel as of the day after Thanksgiving 2020. Four bedrooms, three baths, one partial, no square footage, I don't know. Built in 1995, $8,000 in taxes. Oh, this looks like a cookie cutter home, like a track home, they would call it. I can just tell by the rounded arches and this here. Uh, again, it hasn't sold yet, so we don't know what it's gonna sell for, but this is the lowest price condo, townhouse, row house, freestanding home, modular home, anything in Fox Chapel. So if you're looking to buy a place in Fox Chapel, you don't have a lot of money, and you're like, what's the, what's the lowest price house I can get? This is it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click on the bell, select all notifications, and let me know, comment below what you thought of these houses. Let me know what you think of this style of video of what you can get for the money in Fox Shop.